I'm going to sign one amazing player from every Premier League club. We're going to assemble a Premier League All-Stars team and see if they're good enough to win the Champions League. I've put all 20 Premier League clubs on this wheel. We're spinning it now. And whichever club pops up, we're going to have to sign a player from them first. And looks like it's Aston Villa. We can now sign any player for our team from Aston Villa. But it's not going to be so simple. Throughout this video, we're going to have a budget of 1 billion. Now, that sounds crazy. But since there are 20... 20 Premier League clubs, and some players are going to be super expensive, we might end up running out of this money. And we need to make a transfer from every Premier League club before that happens. And that's why we kind of need to be smart on who we sign from Aston Villa. Do I want to spend a crazy amount of money? No. But you know what? Getting our goalkeeper from Aston Villa might be a dub. Because we could get Emiliano Martinez, who's 86 rated for a really good price. Oh, and he's a World Cup winner. And so our first amazing player is going to be Emi Martinez from Aston Villa. But yup, we had to spend 48 million on just our first transfer. That's why I'm telling you that 1 billion is gonna run out pretty quickly. We've got our first player from Aston Villa, but before we move on to the next club, we're gonna have to decide what formation is this Premier League All-Stars team gonna be playing. Because this matters a lot, because it's gonna decide the kind of signings we need to make. And this time we're gonna let the wheel decide our formation. Okay, please don't give me a 5 at the back formation. That's all I don't want. 3-4-3 three, three diamond. Oh, wow. Our Premier League All-Stars team is going to be running the silliest formation in mankind. I doubt any serious football club runs a formation like this. Am I a joke to you? But hey, this is what we're going to have to do today. Anyways, let's see which is the next Premier League club we're going to be getting. And of course, Luton Town. One of the worst teams in the Premier League. Yo, who do we even sign from them? None of their players look decent. I mean, if we want a backup striker, we could go with Elijah Adebayo. Ooh, maybe someone like Sambi Lokonga for backup. But wait, they've got Ross Barkley. Yo, who remembers him from his Everton days? And you know what? We've got a really weird formation that does need a camp. And Ross Barkley could be a reasonable backup option. I mean, we don't really have much of a choice. But hey, at least we only had to spend 4 million and we got ourselves a player from Luton Town. Okay, guys, I want a big club now. I want to bring in some big players to the team. But it's Burnley. Once again, I don't think there's anyone good enough to get into our first team, at least. I think we're going to have to make a backup signing yet again. Well, I'm a big fan of James Trafford as a young goalkeeper. And just for 5 mil, we got him. Do you know what? We've made three transfers so far. Only one has been really good. And we're still left with 943 million. I want to spend this money. Come on, I want to see one of the top six Premier League clubs. And yes, we do see one. Manchester City. And this is where we're going to have to start making massive, massive decisions. Because we could go absolutely crazy and buy someone like Erling Holland, But that could wipe out almost a quarter of our budget. And I didn't even mention Kevin De Bruyne. That's an option too. You know what? If we're going to be running this silly formation, I think we need a really good striker. Let's do it, guys. Let's bring in Erling Holland. But we need to try and save as much money as possible. Now, this is where things get interesting, boys. How much are we going to have to spend to sign Holland? I'm offering 180 million to start with. Oh, boy. They've literally countered with 239. Ah. Let's see if they'll agree with 230 million. It's a crazy amount. And they're going to think about it. The truth is, guys, if we want to win the Champions League with this Premier League All Stars team, we kind of need some superstars like Holland. And looks like they've accepted it for 230 million. Just like that, we've made our biggest transfer yet, Erling Haaland for 230 million. No way. Just like that, with one signing, we're down to 713 million. That's what I'm saying. This 1 billion could go down really quickly if we're not smart. But hey, I wanted Haaland from Man City and we got him. Let's now see what the next Premier League club is going to be. And oh, Chelsea is another big one. Okay, no, I'm not signing Mikhailo Modric. He's only 7. If I rated, and I don't want Mr. Zero Zero Seven in the team. You know what, guys? Chelsea's team kind of is washed. There aren't too many, like, super high-rated players. Like, we could go with Nkunku, but he doesn't really fit the kind of formation we've got. And I don't want to spend, like, 100 mil on him. Do you know what? We might need to settle with Raheem Sterling. And since he's a left mid, he kind of fits in our weird formation. And yup, Sterling's the player we're picking from Chelsea. And we actually got him for a reasonable price of 40 million. We kind of need to start saving a bit after that Haaland transfer. I just realized that in this ridiculous formation that we We've got.
got. We're going to need four wingers in our starting 11. It's a good thing we picked Sterling. Oh, and looks like the next club we're going to have to make a signing from is Nottingham Forest. Ah, Nottingham Forest is again like a relegation threatened club. There's no one really decent here. Okay, the best player I found here is Ibrahim Sangare. I don't think he's going to be good enough to be a starter for us, but why not as a backup CDM? Well, we did have to fork out 40 million for his transfer. Looking at the team we've built and it's not really impressive. Like, Haaland is the only big player. We need more. But look at that. We're already down to just 633 million after making six signings. There's still 14 more Premier League clubs that we need to go through. Okay, I want to see a big club which can make a really big improvement to our team just like Liverpool. Now, Liverpool gives us options. We could go with someone like Trent Alexander-Arnold. The thing is, in our formation, where would he play? There's options like Luis Diaz and we do need the extra wingers. Oh, but Virgil van Dijk, literally the best center back in the world or even Mo Salah. Okay, guys, I'll be honest. I cannot decide between Van Dijk and Mo Salah. We do need more wingers, but we also need a good amount of center backs and you really can't go better than Virgil van Dijk. Okay, I'm gonna go with my gut instinct and choose Virgil van Dijk. Hopefully, we don't have to spend too much for him. Around 70 million would be the sweet spot. Uh, I think it's gonna go up to 80 million. Yep, it is going to be 80 million for van Dijk. But hey, I wanted big players for my team and I've got VVD as my center back. But man, was that Van Dyke signing expensive. We're down to 553 million and we've only been able to sign seven players so far. I think we need to calm things down a little bit. For the next few clubs, let's make a few tactical signings. Okay, from Sheffield United, we're not getting anyone good anyways. I mean, we did sign Emmett Hodgick, who is their best player for like 12 million, but he's only 75 rated. Even the game says that he's not good enough. And next up, we need to sign a player from West Ham. Okay, now this might get a bit more expensive because West Ham do have a fair few decent players. Lucas Paqueta is a baller, but I think Mohamed Kudus, and especially since we need so many wingers in our formation, yup, he'd be pretty amazing. And so from West Ham, Mohamed Kudus is the player we're signing. Next up, we're gonna have to sign a player from Wolves. Nah, if this was Wolves from a few years ago, we could have maybe signed Ruben Neves, but now it seems like they don't really have too many good players. I think Pedro Neto is like our best bet. I'm not sure if he'll get into the final starting 11, but he could be a good backup option. But we got him for 22 million. And by the way, Pedro Neto from Wolves was our 10th signing. And this is how the team looks like. I know we've got Haaland and Van Dijk, which make things look a lot better. But the rest of the team still needs improvements. We need better center backs, better wingers. Oh, and our budget's going to be 484 million for the last 10 signings. I think we're going to need to make some smart signings. But hey, if you're enjoying this video and maybe want to see a version of me signing a player from every La Liga club, well, I'll need you to subscribe to the channel for that. The goal is to try and hit 2 million subscribers before the end of the year. And if you guys can subscribe and help me out, that would be amazing. Anyways, we're moving on to our 11th club and it's going to be Fulham. Okay, why is their logo completely red? Maybe it's because they don't really have anyone good that we can sign. I mean, we could sign a Willian that's 34 years old and office prime. Do they even have one one amazing player. Oh, that that's perfect. Ciao, Palhinha. He might be our CDM. Yep, that is definitely a good enough rating. He's 84. And that's our signing from Fulham. And we got him for like 45 million. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting to sign a starter from Fulham. But yeah, we still need more wingers as well as defenders. Maybe our next Premier League club can help with that and it's going to be Manchester United. Alright, guys. Now we're gonna have to make a big decision because from Man United, we could bring in some absolute ballers. For example, we need wingers and Alejandro Garnacho would be amazing, uh, but he's only 74 rated. Oh, Marcus Rashford's got the rating. We do need wingers. Rafa Varane as a centre-back. Oh, wait, guys. I know Bruno Fernandes will be expensive, but right now we've got Ross Barkley as our cap. I know we're going to spend crazy money, but I think it's worth bringing in Bruno. The question is, how much are we going to spend on him? If we wipe out our budget, we're going to be in trouble, but I think we should be able to get him for 80 million, yup. This is definitely one of the bigger signings we've made. We're using Bruno from Man United. Oh, the Bruno signing has got us down to 359 million. But hey, at least the middle line of our team is looking insane. But yup, we need to focus on getting wingers and centre-backs. 
Okay, do Newcastle have any good defenders? It would be wrong going with anyone other than Sven Botman. But even this was another 45 million. We got Everton next. Oh, wow. These guys have got nobody good. So I decided to save a bit of money on this by signing Dwight McNeil. We got him for like 10 million, surprisingly. And he's a decent option for backup. He's heading straight to the bench. But yeah, we still need to have a decent bench. So it's all right. Next up on the wheel, we've got Crystal Palace. Okay, after not getting a decent player from Everton, we need someone good. I mean, again, there just isn't anyone reasonably decent. I guess we'll go with Mark Gwehi. I don't know if he'll make it to the starting 11, but he's the player we're choosing from Crystal Palace. And we paid 25 million for him. So far, guys, we've signed players from 15 different Premier League clubs, and this is how the team looks. Again, if we can just get a few better wingers, we'll be sorted. And we still have 280 million left. I think I can now start spending a bit more on each signing. But it's kind of going to depend on the club we get. And yup, we're talking now. It's Spurs. Okay, with Spurs, it seems like we've got a couple of options. One is Christian Romero, make our defense crazy. But the other one definitely excites me more. Hyung Min Son. He's 87 rated. I know he's going to cost us a lot. But our team is crying out loud for better wingers. And to be honest, guys, I'm able to negotiate this deal to get Son for like 70 million. And there you go. We're choosing Son from Spurs. Spurs. Now, just look at our team. But yeah, we've only got four Premier League clubs to sign players from, and we're down to 210 million. Ooh, and it's time to sign a player from Brighton. We got options here, like maybe Matoma, but we've already got so many wingers, and we just brought in Son. Same reason why going for Ansu Fati would be a bit meh, but Lewis Stunk, I think, would be great value for money, and he's 81 rated. And so I got my boy Lewis Stunk for just 18 million. Okay, with Dunk coming in, that defense now looks a lot better. All we need is a superstar right winger. Okay, I do see Arsenal as one of the clubs remaining. They could be huge for us, but first we're gonna have to sign a player from Brentford. Wait, why don't they have Ivan Tony added back into the game? I would have loved to sign him. Oh, that's such a bummer. Who do we then sign from Brentford? They've got nobody. I guess we'll use this to sign our backup striker, Neil Moppe. Oh, but he's on loan. Who do I sign from them? I guess we'll get Mbuemo then. But that's not the kind of right winger I want. Can't believe I just spent 30 minutes million on a player I didn't really want, but hey, we had no other choice. We've got just two Premier League clubs to sign more players from, and I don't think money's gonna be a problem. 160 million left. I think I was a bit too conservative when making signings. I should have been braver. Okay, can we please get Arsenal? I wanna be spending that 160 million, and yes, indeed. And there's absolutely no doubt we're gonna go for one of their more expensive players. Gabriel Martinelli is on the table, but I think you guys would go absolutely crazy if I go with anyone other than Bukayo Saka. He is what we need. Do you know what? I'm glad we saved up a ton of cash because this could get expensive. Okay, we've got 160 million left. I reckon we should be able to get this one done with 100 mil. No, it's going to cost us a bit more than that. But I think 110 should do the trick and give us Bukayo Saka. And so from Arsenal, Saka is the chosen one. We're down to 50 million for our last signing and I want to use it all on one player. But wait, the final club is Bournemouth? Um, and no way. They don't really have anyone decent. Uh, this is annoying. I mean, no other choice, so I'm just gonna sign Solanke. That's right, for 10 million, we chose Solanke from Bournemouth. And yes, Solanke is gonna be our final player, and that completes our team. To be honest, it kinda annoys me that we're left with 40 million. Maybe I could've done better. Let me know in the comments if I maybe missed the transfer or there was something better I could do. But this is the ultimate Premier League All-Stars that we've built. One amazing Premier League player from from every club. It's time to see if this team can win the Champions League. But first, I want to see if they could win the Premier League. Let's see where did they end up finishing. Sixth? That's all? Yo, I was expecting better because we literally stole one player from every Premier League team. Nah, I'm actually surprised. Do you know what? And I think I blame this formation. It's just so silly. But hey, the Premier League All-Stars did get a trophy. It was the Carabao Cup. But remember, it's the Champions League. I want to see if this team can win. Oh, this is is horrendous. Okay, how did PSG get knocked out from the group? But then we also got knocked out, finishing third. We then got kicked into the Europa League and we actually made it to the final. No way, man. Let's let's see if the Premier League All-Stars can actually win the Europa League. No, they lost that too. I can't believe it. Look at the stats, man. This team clearly cooked. Holland with 36 goals. Saka with 27. Jungmann Son as well. Bruno Fernandes. Kudus with 19 assists. Trust me, guys. I think it's this formation that led everybody down. But hey, at least we won a trophy with this team. I'm curious what would happen if we did 
did this for La Liga. But until then, you guys can watch me make one amazing signing from every league. Click here to watch that.